Hello, everyone. I'm Professor Luke from the Archaeology and History of Art Department at Coach University. I graduated from Scripps College uh, for Women in Southern California. And from there, I went on to earn my master's and my PhD in anthropology from Cornell University. During those two experiences, I had the opportunity to work in museums and curate a few exhibitions, as well as conduct field work in Mesoamerica, as well as Greece and Turkey. In 2015, I had the opportunity to move to Istanbul and to become a member of the faculty here at Coach University. I think it's absolutely critical for people to have the opportunities to study at a major research institution. It provides an undergraduate education and then, of course, graduate education that moves people in a really interesting and dynamic way forward in ways that you can't necessarily get at a place that doesn't have active research. In the archaeology and history of art department, known as ARHA, we take this very seriously. We offer three major lines of research. These are archaeology, the history of art, and cultural heritage management. And within these three major umbrellas, there are numerous opportunities to specialize. So you may specialize in prehistory or perhaps Ottoman studies. Um, I'll give some examples. For example, working in a laboratory to prepare archaeological samples for collagen extraction or a thin section analysis, or even learning 3D modeling techniques. All of these things are students who come to coach can do. Um, during field work on an archaeological project, students will have opportunities to learn the details perhaps of geophysics or use aerial imagery, as well as born digital recording techniques for archaeological excavations. Many excavation teams teach students to develop and work with complex database systems. So, of course, these have applications well beyond just archaeology. In addition, students may dual or have a double degree or even minor or earn certificates in related disciplines, such as history, media and visual studies, or for scientifically driven archaeologists, even chemistry. So this is where I think Coach University is especially exciting. Our fact of faculty are actively engaged in primary first-hand research in each of the areas of the specializations that they offer. They're very open-minded about allowing students to pursue their interests and obtain specialization and training in what they need. And having this first lens into research allows the student at the undergraduate level to gain valuable experience that is typically available at other top tier research institutions. And so at Coach, we feel that we're providing students with something that more typical for Europe and American institutions. I did mention previously that we have these three components, archeology, span the history of art and, and heritage. And so this gives our students a truly broad and interdisciplinary education, which makes it unique, particularly in Turkey itself. They come out with a breadth of knowledge about Anatolia over the long term, and thereby can speak to the range of communities who have called this area home during various periods of time. For our Turkish and international students, what we like to do, particularly not during a global pandemic, um, but outside once this crisis overcomes itself, is we find ourselves with the extraordinary privilege of being in Turkey. And so we can take trips firsthand to see the monuments and landscapes that we are teaching and researching. And so ARHA helps organize and helps subsidize opportunities for these research trips throughout the year. In addition, we offer a lot of Erasmus programs for students who maybe need to gain an additional expertise and so they can go to Europe. We've had people go for ceramic and zooarchaeological research to the University of Sheffield. Others have spent time at archives in Paris, such as at UNESCO, and still others in the archives of the British Museum, museums in the Netherlands, and archives in the United States, such as the Metropolitan Museum of Art, Princeton, and Harvard University. In addition, and one that really makes us unique, is that here at Coach, ARHA has a number of research centers. And so I, I do want to spend a bit of time talking about those and the opportunities that students have in gaining expertise and affiliation with the scholars that come through here. So every year, there are between 10 and 15, maybe 20 or more scholars that spend time in these various locations. So there's the Vefbi Coach Ankara Research Center, otherwise known as VACOM. 
and it's located in Ankara. There is the Sunna and Inan Karach Research Center for Mediterranean Civilizations, otherwise known as Ahmed in Antalya. And then there's the Stavros Niarchos Foundation Center for Late Antique and Byzantine Studies, otherwise known as Gabon, which is located here on campus. There is the Mustafa Coach Maritime Archaeology Research Center, Kudar, which is also located here on campus. And then there's the Research Center for Anatolian Civilization, which is known as Anamed, and it's located in the heart of Istanbul. And so each of these, as you can tell from their names, have particular areas of foci. So you'll have studies particular to Ankara or Mediterranean studies or Byzantine studies or maritime studies or through Anamed, lots of different opportunities to range over the time periods that you're interested in. And importantly for archaeologists, we also have a center um, that's entitled the Coach University Surface and Science and Technology Center, QITOM. And here they can do a variety of scientific analysis. So X-ray diffraction or X-ray fluorescence, ICPMS, RAM spectroscopy, um, as well as SEM um, scanning and electron microscope work. We have a very extensive undergraduate program, but we also have a very extensive master's and PhD program. And it, it includes all three of the spheres that I've talked about. So it's archaeology, history of art, um, and heritage studies. And so students tend to focus on one of those broad ideas or spheres, and even within those, they can specialize. We have an excellent record of our graduate students going on to postgraduate studies. In some cases, we've had people go on to earn master's degrees from institutions in Germany, the Netherlands, and Australia. And in other cases, people have worked on their PhDs at the University of Chicago in the US, the University of Toronto in Canada, one student at Tübingen University in Germany, and then another one currently at the University of Cambridge in the UK. So in many cases, it is through the networks that they establish during their undergraduate degrees, as well as MA work at Coach, that gives them the opportunity to go on to these other institutions abroad. But many maintain those connections, and so they continue their PhD work on a topic related somehow to Anatolia or broader in terms of heritage and pursuing an interest in Turkey or at least the wider region. For internships at the undergraduate, but also the graduate levels, people may work in museums. These include the museums that are affiliated with Koch, such as the Para Museum or the Sadbur Khanum Museum, in addition to Arter or Koch Contemporary. The Anamed Gallery is also a favorite among our Haas students, and we've also had students actually curate exhibitions at Anamed. Baycom in Ankara also offers similar opportunities for internships. In addition, we can help you link to museums in Europe or even the United States to secure internships over the summer. For our graduates, particularly our MAs, they may go on to work in galleries or go on to develop database systems or work in GIS with municipalities or NGO work in terms of heritage management and planning and policy work. For our PhDs, again, very similar NGO sectors and the creative sectors, even some people working with film and media on how archaeology or the history of art is incorporated into documentaries, and those who pursue more traditional degree paths in academia or in education in some way. For me, Coach University offers unparalleled opportunity for working in the greater Mediterranean world and particularly developing an expertise in Anatolian studies, whether that is in archaeology, the history of art, or cultural heritage studies. Um, I will look forward to meeting anybody who is coming through Istanbul. Please look us up. We're available online. You can reach out to us through our email. And if there's one particular faculty member, we're all very excited to be in touch with you, for you to be in touch with us, and hopefully to see you here on campus, as well as in many of our research centers or archaeological projects or cultural heritage projects taking place in Turkey.